So Meher uh, a Kamancha, fantastic Kamancha player in Iran and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank, you very much. Remy. thank you so much. And uh, would like to talk about maqams. So what is the meaning of the maqams? What does that mean in Egypt and the Middle East? What does that mean in Iran? And uh, would like to take the Maqam Bayat as example for this episode. So let's see Maqam Bayat uh, or the Maqams in general. So Maqams in Egypt means a place, uh, uh, a status. Maqams as word, the Maqam as word means that it's just a place. So I think the word here, maqam, literally does not represent really musically what it meant. Uh, but in the same while, we can know maqam, word maqam, as a character. It's just a personality. Each maqam has its own personality. There are two different ways to mention maqam. Maqam in, uh, in theoretically, like theories, and uh, maqam in its character and musically. They are two different ways. So we will mention a lot in the maqam in its character, how its character is different from Egypt, than Iraq, than Iran. So this is what it meant, word maqam, as we understand it. How about Meher? Talk to us about the maqam. What's the meaning of maqam? Uh, so I can explain that that this definition of magam in Iran and in Iranian music is so uh, different. Uh, magam is for our local music in north and in south and in uh, just around the Iran mm -hmm. and uh, for our local music. We, we have in our classical traditional music form one... Uh, form of daska. Daska. We, yeah, the, we uh, called it that daska and the, the tetrachords make, makes this uh, daska together and each daska contain two tetrachords and we speak uh, to the, to today about the shur, daska shur, that's so similar to the uh, yeah. maga and so the other one, court. 
cord exactly uh, and something like that's wonderful thank you so much for mentioning this and basically let's share a screen to just make sure that we understand better so here is maqam uh, bayat the first state record of maqam bayat which is in iran is sure uh, against bayat and this is third the fourth first interval third fourth second interval and then one whole note uh, the last one. Second, the tetrachord of Maqam Bayat, uh, which is chord tetrachord, and in Iran that's called Dashti, right, Meher? Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's the, so important to say that the, our desk, our shur, uh -huh. contains from these two tetrachords, shur and Dashti. Between do, these two tetrachords, we have a one tone between th these two. Yes. So, one tone. Sometimes, you know, so uh, our complete yaska. Yes. Sure, Banton yes. and uh, Dashti. Correct. So, bad, the record is... That's simple. Let's play Irani Sure. First, the record of bad. It's exactly like the, your, your let, tetracord. Let, let's hear it from the command better. Let's play it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Allah. And this is the second tetrachord of Maqam Bayat, which is the chord tetrachord in Arabic, and which is Dashti in Iran. So here it is. So this is the Maqam It basically starts from Rila, uh, because that's the chord tetrachord. Half, one, one. So this is the the, the bat. Uh, uh huh. That's the chord, uh, tetra chord, which is Iranian. Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. it, this is about the maqam. So how about we talk a little bit more about uh, the maqam branches for maqam bayat? So in Egypt, for example, so. Before we go to this area, Maqam Bayat in Egypt is different than Maqam Bayat in Iraq, is different than uh, Algeria, different than Iran, for sure. So, how about Meher talk to us about the Maqam Bayat in Iran? Only Maqam Bayat, without its branches. That, yeah. As I told about that, the similarity of Maqam Bayat to our, our Shur, Ah. This is, uh, is uh, uh, so famous in our um, um, musicians, so. and uh, we uh, have uh, more than thirty branches in ah. Dastgah Shul, as I told, ah. that we call them Gushe. And uh, how about uh, give us example musically? Let's yeah. say. Uh, I play some example for you. Uh, for example, uh, if it's uh, our shoe in first tetra chord, we have in the third note of shoe the uh, so special uh, branch that uh, called Bayat Turk ah. that we divide yeah. in five uh, 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 avas. Bayat Turk is one of them. That was wonderful. So, from here, for example, Bayati. Bayati in Egypt is more like uh, 
See, here is bad in Egypt, like. And Bayati in Iraq is different. They call it dashed there. Mm -hmm. Let's say, guys, a little higher. Regarding to the branches of the maqam, we have maqam, bayat, same thing, but we have to play the different tetra chord, second tetra chord of the maqam, and a different tetra chord at all than the chord. For example, this is the first tetra chord, the bayat, then it's so almost hijaz, right? It's like tetra chord hijaz, right? And then this one is more. Like Bayati Shuri. Does that have a different name in Iran? Meh. Yeah, yeah, that's the. We, we call it uh, uh, our Daska Homayun. So this is so. And that's one of our branches. Named uh, Shushtari. That's Hijaz. And Shushtari. Exactly. That's like Hijaz. So that's Shushtari uh, in Iran, which is Hijaz in Arabic. Gamir. Okay. So the second uh, one also in the branches is Husseini, which is. So uh, cla classically, we this, this Hosseini in our uh, form, but I heard uh, 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 so many times in playing together with you and with other musicians. Uh, but this Hosseini in this form uh, uh, is not so uh, popular. Uh, how yeah. it, uh, exact uh, example in our Daska. Okay, so that's something different than the one that you play. It's always it's not that used there. Okay, mm -hmm. so which is this is Rust uh, Nawa. Okay, awesome. And after this one, and this one is like basically these are the most common bayat and maqam. So, how about if we finish? Uh, this uh, conversation on maqam bayat and what's the meaning of the maqams in Iraq and Iran with some uh, improvisation between me and you. So let's start by you. Very nice, okay. Thank you. 
Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, man. It was wonderful. It was great.